Elon Musk's latest production shakeup just changed everything. The CyberCab prototype, Tesla's new AI5 to AI8 chips, and the rollout of FSD V14 all point to one shocking truth. Tesla is quietly preparing the real $25,000 Model 2 platform. But why now? And what isn't Musk saying? Let's dive right in. The moment those early signals appeared, they felt like scattered pieces of information. But as the details keep emerging, the pattern begins to form. Quiet, deliberate, unmistakable. It all starts with what seems like a harmless sighting on public roads. A cybercab prototype that looks nothing like the playful, half-finished concept Tesla showed months ago. This version isn't theatrical, it's functional. And the more closely people examine it, the more it challenges the idea that this machine exists purely for a future robo-taxi network. Its design choices, its structural changes, and even its proportions now resemble something that could easily evolve into Tesla's long-promised $25,000 Model 2. And that raises a simple but unavoidable question. If Tesla truly wanted this to be viewed only as a self-driving pod, why would they refine it in ways that directly benefit a low-cost mass-market EV? The signs show up immediately. The new prototype doesn't hide behind exaggerated shapes anymore. The once theatrical wheel covers and painted tires are gone, replaced with components that look ready for mass production. The body panels have been subtly reshaped, not for style, but for practicality. Cleaner stamping, reduced material usage, and improved aerodynamics that translate into real cost savings. Even the addition of a steering wheel, something Musk once claimed would vanish entirely, reveals that Tesla is now testing both autonomous and human-driven configurations on the same platform. That level of flexibility only exists when you're designing something meant to serve multiple models, not just one specialized vehicle. Every element supports the same story. Tesla is refining a shared foundation. The widened doors, the lowered B-pillar, the smoother rear section. None of these are luxuries. They're efficiency decisions. And efficiency decisions are exactly what a $25,000 vehicle needs in order to be profitable. What Tesla is calling CyberCab increasingly looks like an early unpolished Model 2 prototype, wearing a disguise just convincing enough to keep the public guessing. The Halloween teaser added even more fuel. At first glance, it looked like Tesla's usual inside joke, a cyber cab rolling through an in-and-out drive through But beneath that playful exterior, the clip exposed real engineering changes, segmented lights, new headlamp shapes, and a front fascia that no longer resembles a concept car Tesla doesn't refine lighting packages for fun. They refine them when a vehicle is approaching its true production form. And all of this leads naturally to the next major shift. The rollout of full self-driving version 14. On the surface, most people saw it as another software update. But it's nothing of the sort. Version 14 required Tesla to rebuild the motion model from the ground up just to accommodate the Cybertruck's four-wheel steer-by-wire system. That level of retraining meant Tesla wasn't improving a single vehicle. They were teaching their neural networks how to adapt to entirely new body types and camera layouts. That capability is exactly what the Model 2 needed. Before version 14, building an affordable EV with advanced autonomy would have required Tesla to maintain separate AI stacks for each vehicle class, that approach would never scale to a $25,000 car. Version 14 finally breaks that limitation. It shows that a single vision-based system can learn, adjust, and operate across vehicles of different shapes, sizes, and steering geometries. In short, 
Tesla now has a universal foundation that can be deployed across the entire lineup, from the Cybertruck to the Cybercab to the future Model 2. What makes this shift even more compelling is how deeply Tesla reworked the system's behavior. The neural network can now reroute itself using only real-time vision when it encounters lane closures or blocked roads. Its emergency vehicle recognition is far more precise. It recovers smoothly from brief camera interference instead of panicking or disengaging. Even small details, like warnings for contaminated windshields, point to a company that is hardening its software for the inconsistencies of everyday driving. Conditions that a budget-friendly vehicle must handle flawlessly. All of this inevitably leads to one more crucial element. Tesla's next-generation AI chips. Musk did not introduce them with fanfare. Instead, brief comments on X revealed that the upcoming AI 5 through AI 8 chips aren't being designed just for vehicles. They will operate across Tesla's broader ecosystem including humanoid robots and, in SpaceX's case, orbital data centers built into Starlink satellites. This cross-functional vision matters. If Tesla wants to build a cheap car with advanced intelligence, it cannot afford to create unique chips for each product category. It needs a unified architecture. AI5, the first chip in this roadmap, demonstrates how aggressive Tesla is willing to be. With massive jumps in compute power, memory, and efficiency, AI5 gives Tesla the performance headroom necessary for FSD V14 while consuming less energy than its predecessor. That combination, high capability and low power draw, is essential for a compact EV that must maintain range without oversized batteries. And the fact that both Samsung and TSMC are producing variants of the chip shows Tesla is preparing for global volume, not limited availability. Then there's AI-8, the ambitious design intended to operate in orbit, exposed to radiation and extreme temperature shifts. Critics call the idea excessive, but Musk has always pursued technology that works in the harshest environments first then simplifies it for consumer use. If Tesla builds an AI chip robust enough to survive space, adapting it for a compact car becomes trivial by comparison. And a tough, resilient chip is precisely what a mass-market vehicle needs. Simple to cool, cheap to manufacture, and engineered to last long beyond warranty periods. When you connect these dots, the evolving cybercab the adaptable FSD brain, and the next-generation AI hardware. The picture becomes impossible to ignore. Tesla isn't announcing a master plan. It's executing one in real time. Each update looks ordinary on its own, but together they form the outline of a strategy built on shared architecture, scalable intelligence, and manufacturing efficiency. And history shows that Tesla always tests future products inside current ones. The Model Y emerged from Model 3 engineering. The Semi helped refine Cybertruck technologies, and Starship's breakthroughs began in the Falcon era long before the public noticed. Now we're watching the same pattern unfold again. The Cybercab is no longer just a taxi experiment. FSD version 14 is no longer just a software patch, and AI5 to AI8 aren't just chips. They are the structural, cognitive, and computational foundations of a vehicle. Tesla hasn't officially admitted is coming, but is clearly preparing behind the scenes. And as more pieces lock into place, the big question forms naturally. If Tesla didn't intend for the Model 2 to emerge soon, why are all three systems, the hardware, the software, and the production architecture, evolving at the same time? When you connect all the evidence, the message becomes unmistakable. The Cybercab rebuild, FSDV14's adaptive intelligence, and Tesla's next-gen AI chips are not separate updates. They're the foundation for the $25,000 Model 2, 
and a new era of smarter, scalable transportation. This is what the title pointed to from the start, and now the implications are clear. Tesla is positioning itself for a major shift that will reshape both everyday driving and future tech development. So what's your take? How do you see this transforming the EV landscape? Share your thoughts below. If you found value in this breakdown, hit like, drop a comment, and subscribe to Tech Revolution Turn On Notifications so you never miss the next deep dive. The future's moving fast, and we're here to keep you ahead of it. Elon Musk's latest production shakeup just changed everything. The CyberCab prototype, Tesla's new AI5 to AI8 chips, and the rollout of FSD V14 all point to one shocking truth. Tesla is quietly preparing the real $25,000 Model 2 platform. But why now? And what isn't Musk saying? Let's dive right in. The moment those early signals appeared, they felt like scattered pieces of information. But as the details keep emerging, the pattern begins to form. Quiet, deliberate, unmistakable. It all starts with what seems like a harmless sighting on public roads. A cybercab prototype that looks nothing like the playful, half-finished concept Tesla showed months ago. This version isn't theatrical. It's functional, and the more closely people examine it, the more it challenges the idea that this machine exists purely for a future robo-taxi network. Its design choices, its structural changes, and even its proportions now resemble something that could easily evolve into Tesla's long-promised $25,000 Model 2. And that raises a simple but unavoidable question. If Tesla truly wanted this to be viewed only as a self-driving pod, why would they refine it in ways that directly benefit a low-cost mass-market EV? The signs show up immediately. The new prototype doesn't hide behind exaggerated shapes anymore. The once theatrical wheel covers and painted tires are gone, replaced with components that look ready for mass production. The body panels have been subtly reshaped, not for style, but for practicality. Cleaner stamping, reduced material usage, and improved aerodynamics that translate into real cost savings. Even the addition of a steering wheel, something Musk once claimed would vanish entirely, reveals that Tesla is now testing both autonomous and human-driven configurations.